What's your name? Sir, Mrinal. Mrinal, two things. One, I believe I am talking to an audience that has read the fundamentals of science. Energy is not a vector. It does not have any direction. How can it be positive or negative? What do you mean by positive energy? Energy is joules. Or do you put a plus or minus sign there? There is nothing called positive energy. Huh? That was first part. Second part was, why do we need someone, somebody outside of ourselves to be that source that gives whatever to us, motivation, inspiration, positive energy, whatever you want to call it. First of all, don't call it positive or negative. Positive or negative is always with respect to a center. Even on the graph paper, when you declare a side to be positive or negative, you see you buy a blank graph paper and there is nothing positive or negative in it, right? After a while, something becomes positive and something becomes negative. Plus x minus x plus y minus y. How do these positive and negative come? How do they come? They come depending upon where you have set the origin. Where you have set the center. Is that not so? In case of the mind, the center is always the ego. For each of us, we are the center of the universe. For a dog, the dog is the center of the universe. For the woman, the woman is the center of the universe. For you, you are the center of the universe. You look at everything in your own context. That is the reason why what is highly positive for one is deeply negative for the other. The lion is chasing the deer. What is positive for the lion is highly negative for the deer. Don't you see that? Yeah? Two countries are fighting. The same outcome is highly positive for one and deeply negative for the other. Because both are looking at the outcome from their respective origins. And the origins are different. Hmm? You look at everything from your center and that center is ego. What is positive for the man is negative for the woman. What is positive in one religion is negative in another religion. What is allowed in one country is not allowed in another country. What is good in one house is bad in the neighboring house. Because our centers are different. So don't call it positive or negative. By calling it so, you will only reinforce the ego. Yeah, getting it? So from me, what you are getting is not at all positive energy. In fact, you are not getting anything from me. I have only helped create an environment here which is bringing your mind to silence. That's the only thing that I'm facilitating. Otherwise, I'm useless. I'm really not giving you anything. I'm only an environment provider. Right? Once you realize that, the second part of question is answered. You will not need anybody. Could you give this environment to yourself on your own? You are free. Who needs anybody else? If I can bring my mind to peace, stillness, silence on my own, there is no need. There is no need. And that is my only function right now. I have no other function. Hmm? And you can take over this function. You can be your own best teacher, undoubtedly. And you must be your own teacher. It's great fun and great freedom. You need not be dependent upon anybody else. But you must have a great urge for that state to come. I will not be dependent. And that then will be a way of life. You cannot say I am dependent in one field, but not dependent in another field. Because freedom is total. It cannot be partial, fragmented. Yeah? If you are dependent upon this and that, then you will need to depend upon me as well. You are dependent upon 
your peers media friends parents religion books the entire world if you are dependent upon everything else then you will need to depend upon a teacher as well ask for total freedom and that is the fun of life that is the fun of flying free and alone and only then you will also be capable of love because a slave cannot love a conditioned mind cannot love freedom and love go together a dependent mind cannot love it can be attracted all right it can have desires all right but attraction and desires are not love yeah yes